how much food is wasted. Every day we would throw like tons and tons of food away, like fresh food, just because like it was lunchtime over and we can't have it the next day. They would throw like gigantic trees. Not too many people are gonna do something about that. So you could think about it all day. Kind of nah, not really. It's like, yo, we making this food this many times that I do like me that has to take the trash out and see how much like stuff we just dumping out. I'm saying that makes it like um sad, huh? Seriously. I'm trying to break a rule actually. If I seen that, I would probably like even risk my job and making the sandwich and take it outside to him instead of going through the trash. That's just the type of Because some people have big hearts, like, you know, the lady that owns this place, she seems like she has a big heart. I mean, it's always about money, of course, that's why you get into business in the first place, right? So, I mean, uh, I think it depends on the person. It depends on the person. It's stuff together to try to do something like that. Or kids, like, from colleges or whatever, to stop in different places. I mean, if it's already started, I mean, the idea is gone. So, I mean, it's pretty much emotional. I don't think you see anything trying to stop it unless, like, the company is getting low on money or low on product, then they can't donate anything. But I mean, if it's already started, the wheels going so. Oh, it should be like a sort of organization that stops at these different places before they close, right? Yeah. Load that stuff up like in a sort of van or something that has some sort of refrigeration in the back. Take all that stuff to like, I guess, a homeless shelter. I don't know. Uh, Someone should be done. Actually, this is an acronym, but it stands for Empowering Lives, Inviting Justice, and Alleviating Hunger. And that's our promise, mostly with volunteers and donations. Um, so mostly the people that help us out. Uh, so what you guys do for us is absolutely extraordinary. Um, over here we have uh, where we actually put out and people can take it on their way out. Um, they're like more than, they're so grateful for that. Just because, you know, two meals a day is nice, but for the simple fact that if we only serve two hours a day, six to seven for dinner or in 11 to 12 for lunch. Uh, there are parts of the day, sometimes they can't make it and they do need something to eat. So the bread, the pastries, whatever you guys are bringing here is a huge help and you guys are making that difference. You know, not just in John's life, who I know personally and I know he's, he's gotten better, but from uh, just every single person who walks through these doors. When they're done, they eat and then they leave and they get their bread. It's like 150 to 200 people a meal. So that's five days a week, it's 29 like 200 each day on the weekend, so it's... How do you feel about food waste, personally? Um, as it relates to hunger that many of your visitors experience uh, daily. Before I worked here, I, I... Well, I come from a large Italian family, so if you don't finish what's on your plate, you're not even allowed to leave the, the, the seat. We have, like, a healthy initiative, so we have greens and starch and protein. Um, and a salad, a salad, vegetables, uh, all along those lines. We have a bag lunch program. I try to accept no more than a hundred in a three day period, just for simple fact that we don't want to throw them away and see people in our, go through our dumpster, when they should really just be walking through these doors and getting a healthy meal. Food waste is a huge problem. The thing is though, so, so many fatty, unnatural foods can be stored in a freezer um, and last for longer than fresh fruits and vegetables. We're really huge into food security right now at Elijah's Promise, which is getting food from like local uh, local farms. We're called the Garden State here in New Jersey, we, and you know the solution to hunger is right in our backyards: plants and vegetables. Do you feel your visitors generally have access to nutritious, unprocessed foods here? The end goal. Put ourselves out of business. Um, I've said that hundreds of times, which you know, it's a terrible 
business strategy for that. If you need a soup kitchen, that means there's hunger and we want to get rid of hunger. Yeah, spread the word that food security and getting things from local areas 